anything Derrick Henry can't do. Another ridiculous outing for King Henry in week six, where he finished with more total yards than the entire Chicago Bears team, the entire Giants team, the Browns, the Bills, and the Packers. The Steelers get Henry and the Titans next. Here's Mike Tomlin on how they're getting ready for the big game. This is a group that has an appetite um, for the big moment. Uh, they're capable of delivering it in the big moment. They complement their offense extremely well in that way. Their offense does an awesome job of taking care of the ball. Uh, so that, in a nutshell, is kind of our challenge this week. Uh, we respect it. We were playing them in their home venue. Um, we, we're humbled and excited to be in these five-star matchups, man. Um, and we, we will show that appreciation by, by how we prepare and hopefully ultimately, ultimately by how we play. Uh, as we move into the weekend. Aditi Ngabala, Mike Robb, and MJD join me now. And Derrick Henry does things on a short week that would really leave the rest of us mere mortals in an ice bath for about a month. Aditi, does Mike Tomlin have a realistic outlook on the nightmare Henry could present for the Steelers' defense? <laughs> well, MJ, you just heard Mike Tomlin talk about five-star matchups and how big of a game this is, and he did not mince words when it came to Derrick Henry. As you full well know, Mike Tomlin loves using SAT words. When he talked about Derrick Henry, he simply said, ridiculous. And the point there was that he has never, ever, ever seen a combination of power, size, stiff arm, and as he put it, Olympic-type sprinter's speed. He said that this is absolutely a load that his Steelers defense will have to take on. But look, MJ, this Steelers defense just shut down the number one rushing team in the NFL. They shut down a team that came in averaging more than 38 points a game. And so it's a defense that has a lot of confidence. It's a defense that knows how to rush the passer, knows how to force the passer into situations that he doesn't necessarily want to be in. But of course, as you just said, everything will start with stopping the run. So on that note, I will send it to you, MJD. We know that Derrick Henry is a runner unlike any other in the NFL. But we also know that the Steelers defense is perhaps the best that Ben Roethlisberger has ever played with. What are you liking come Sunday? Well, Aditi, I'll tell you this much. I, I love the Steelers defense, and um, it comes to matchups for me. When you talk about uh, Taylor Lewan being injured, and, and that's your left tackle who's been one of the better left tackles in the game, and I know the Steelers lost Devin Bush on Sunday, but that front seven, they play like no one, no other. I mean, they fly to the ball. Like you said, they stop the run. We saw them shut down a Cleveland Browns team. We saw them make uh, a Cleveland Browns team who's been on the rise running look pedestrian. And so uh, we've seen that before, and they've done it to multiple teams. And to me, it just feels like Derrick Henry, this is the movable object of going against an unstoppable force. And who wins this matchup? And so I have to give it to the defense and this defensive line. They have to dominate up front. You can't allow Derrick Henry to do what we're seeing against my Jaguars. We can't allow Derrick Henry to get uh, speed and running on corners. But I truly believe this, and Mike Robin, I'm going to pass it to you. Derrick Henry, how does he impact the passing game and Ryan Tannehill, who's playing lights out right now? Well, it's everything. And, and I don't call Derrick Henry Derrick Henry, bro. I call him business decision. I tweeted that last week. He is a walking business decision, man. And you talk about that upfront uh, noise between uh, uh, the, the Tennessee Titans offensive line and the Pittsburgh Steelers defensive line. Okay, you, you, can, you can throw an offensive tackle to the ground, but you still have to have a physical confrontation with business decision. I mean, I'm sorry, with Derrick Henry, the running back for the Tennessee Titans. And he is phenomenal. So every single time Ryan Tannehill turns around and reaches that ball out, Right, the entire defense, all 11 guys on the defensive side of the ball, they freeze because they're like, oh man, is he gonna make it to me? Is is business decision, Derrick Henry? Is he gonna make it to me? And I gotta be the one make this tackle and possibly get you know get thrown out of the club? No. So again, it opens up big passing lanes down the football field. Ryan Tannehill, five touchdowns on play action passing and almost 114 passer rating on play action passing. So everything starts with business business decision. I'm talking about Derrick Henry. Everything. Thing. Because, again, you have to have a physical confrontation with this big back. And I'm not too sure there's many people walking this planet who really want to have one. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not. Let's add one more layer to this, though. D'Angelo Hall tackling Derrick Henry. Extremely difficult. Josh Norman can tell us that. But it has to also be executed flawlessly. <laughs> How does one do that? You know what? You can't go up there thinking about it. You know, I felt like, you know, I applaud Josh Norman for throwing his body in there, but it seemed like he was thinking about it. If if I'm trying to tackle a big back like Derrick Henry, and I've had to tackle a couple big backs in my day, 
you have to want to hit these guys. And I think that's why a lot of people like this matchup with the Steelers because that defense, you, you, you heard Mike Tomlin talk about Derrick Henry. He's already let his squad know what time it is. And all of those guys are going to be ready to hit Derrick Henry. I think when you have that indecisiveness about, hey, do I want to hit this guy higher or low or what, what am I going to do? You can't think about it. You have to just go and get them legs and hold on to something, man. It's, it is a business decision, but... <laughs> The really, really great guys are just going there and oh just shoot God. at them legs and try to at least get them to stop his feet. But you see Josh Norman going up high. Like, you can't try to swipe the ball from a guy like Derrick Henry, man. He is too big. That's not the time nor the place to try to get that football out. Get the guy down on the ground or at least try to stop his feet so the rest of you guys on the defense can come to the party and help you out. <laughs> A man who has a more a or as many to total it. yards uh, this season so far, 365. As there are days in the year, Derrick Henry, <laughs> unstoppable. I can't wait to watch this go down. It is a touchdown to Goddard. Deep ball for the touchdown. Darius Slate comes to the wash. He is hit. He's dropped. Pass deflected and intercepted by the Giants. He's going to run. He's going to dive. He's in! Touchdown! Carson Wentz! Lost the football! Picked up by the Giants! 10, 5, touchdown Giants! Caught! Travis Fulham! There's that guy again. There he is! All right, Thursday night, NFC East foes square off in prime time. It's one of the great rivalries in the NFL. Giants, Eagles, Thursday night football on Fox, NFL Network, and streaming on Prime Video. Let's open up the playbook on Carson Wentz. Our Super Bowl winning head coach, Ryan Billick, joins us now along with Sean O'Hara. Now, Coach, Carson Wentz is struggling, but it's, it's really not all his fault here. What are you seeing uh, when you look at the tape? Yeah, he's struggling because of protection or lack thereof. It clearly is what it comes down to. This guy is under siege. When you look at the film, you can see exactly what I'm talking about. The Baltimore Ravens, who are known for their five- and six-man pressures, when you see the first play, this was the first play of the game. It was a four-man rush, okay? The guard gets overwhelmed. The left tackle gets overwhelmed. They meet at the quarterback. That's the simplest thing you're going to see from the Baltimore Ravens. Now, now they're going to bring a five-man rush. Now, this is a simple twist. This is not rocket science. Sean, what do you always say? Two, four hands on the uh, first level, four eyes on the second level. They don't see the simple twist, and they get overrun. Well, now you're going to see the real Baltimore Ravens. This is an eight-man pressure with zero coverage. Carson Wentz knows I got zero time. There's nothing in the middle of the field. All I can do is hope to throw up a fallaway jumper, and maybe something good will happen. Now, this was the end of the game, so he had to make this throw, and it turned out pretty good. But this is what Carson Wentz is reduced to. Uh, when you look at the numbers here from a historical standpoint, Carson Wentz is being sacked. You, you know, you look at the numbers, second only to Deshaun Watson. He's on pace for 66 sacks on the year. I don't think that's going to happen, not because I think they're going to protect better. I don't think he's going to last. He's going to get hurt. He's not going to make it to 66 sacks. They've got to find a way to firm that up. He's got no chance of producing down the field unless they firm up what's going on with the offensive line. Yeah, Coach, no doubt the protection's been an issue, and they've been losing offensive linemen left and right. They just lost Jack Driscoll in, in the game against Baltimore as well. Now they're without Zach Ertz, uh, who, who's out with a high ankle sprain, and Miles Sanders is going to be out for the Thursday night game too. So you look at Carson Wentz, and look, he's going in to try to put out these fires, and all he's got is a little water bottle. So he, he doesn't have the ammo that he definitely needs. But I've seen some courageous throws by Carson Wentz. I think the biggest thing that, that you touched on and that he needs to do is, Carson, stop trying to make the big throw. Stop trying to make that big play. Get the ball out quick. This offense, they need to go back to the quick throws, the quick screens, the bubble screens. Just get the ball out in space. 